Okay, welcome to my f home freeze drying experiment part two. And I've now connected up uh, two reclaimed fridge compressors. I've got my oil trap on the output of the second, getting a little bit of oil output, but not much. Up here in my bell jar, I've got a little uh, pot of water. And on the front of this uh, test bed, uh, a vacuum gauge. Now, for a long while, probably about three or four minutes, uh, it's been climbing very, very slowly, much slower than I have with just one compressor, uh, the original uh, Danfoss at the back there. And uh, I was a bit uh, concerned that um, I'd had problems with this second compressor starting or not starting, so I had to sort of break the vacuum that I had, um, you know, release everything back to atmospheric pressure, and then this one started up fine, and then the other one and then we're back off again. But for ages it took a while to, um, to to climb and it's been sort of stuck at about 28 inches or minus 28 inches uh, mercury uh, for quite a while. And then all of a sudden I hadn't noticed uh, that this second stage uh, further down the chain had stopped and I heard it click and shake a little bit as it started up again. And then suddenly the uh, the pressure has dropped to, well, I'm, again, I'm treating this gauge as accurate, but I read that as 29.5 at the moment, 29.5 inches mercury, and in here, in my little tray, or little uh, dish, I have some water, the ambient temperature out here is probably about 18 degrees, something like that, we are in the sun, and this is a little greenhouse, so my guess is it's a little bit warmer in there, but every now and then, I'm seeing um, large bubbles come out of it. Um, as you can see, there's uh, condensation on the inside of the uh, Pyrex bowl. Um, so it is um, sort of, it is boiling, or sort of um, evaporating rather, um, but not at a boil. Uh, every once in a while, as I say, we're seeing bubbles here. Um, I'll just check both compressors and see if they are both still running, but we are currently at minus 29.5, I would say, or just over, in fact, now. Uh, but I'll come back in just a moment and see what's happening. Okay, just uh, feeling the two compressors. They are both running. Uh, I'm pretty sure about that, yep. Um, just feel the vibration off them slightly. But they are exceedingly quiet. The second one that's slightly noisier, but that could be just the unit. Um, what I do notice is that because I'm in the sun, they are both pretty darn hot. I'm, I'm quite sure that that's not because they're running hot, because uh, just one dr device on its own running for sort of 10 or 15 minutes was you know, barely warm to the touch. I'm pretty sure it's because they're black and we're in the sun. Um, yeah, on the back side, they're reasonably reasonably cool. Um, so I don't know quite what is happening at the moment. Um, I would expect with that level of vacuum for this to be bubbling quite nicely, um, but it isn't. And it is still liquid, it hasn't frozen or anything uh, clever like that. Um, so I'm not quite sure what is happening. Okay, a few minutes later and I've improvised with a child's umbrella, a buggy umbrella. I've improvised some shade for the compressors and um, yeah, I, they're still pretty darn hot, but I mean, you can definitely keep your hand on them. No problem there. That one's running a bit hotter. Um, not visibly any out blowing here. Uh, a little bit of condensation in here. Of the, that's the output of the second stage. But then back at the, um, the bell jar, we are running, I would say, well, crumbs, it's dropped even more. Um, that is very close to minus 30 inch. Um, the, the needle is a gnat's whisker away uh, from minus 30 inches. And I notice in the bell jar here uh, that all of the condensation that had filled the bell jar before uh, has gone. Yep, there's not a drop left. So we're just left with the water that's in the uh, tray. Uh, it is still liquid, 
um, but I'm puzzled as to why it isn't boiling. Um, but clearly something is happening. The glass jar is cool to the touch, but I wouldn't say cold. Um, but then, so is my mug of water. That's probably about the same temperature, so it's nothing, nothing super cold happening there. Okay, I've unplugged everything. Well, I had unplugged everything and returned uh, jar pressure back to uh, atmospheric pressure. Um, when I released the pressure from one of the, um, the you know, evacuation tube there, um, the water, the inrush of air into the jar made the water splash. So I ended up splashing water on the, the metal deck around here. Now we're back down to about 29 inches, just over just over 29 inches, minus 29. Um, the a lot of condensation in here, um, but what is interesting is that where I've splashed on the metal, I'm getting boiling. Um, and I'm thinking that's because in the sun, the metal is a little bit warm, and the heat of that is just enough to lift this up to its current boiling point for the given pressure in here. What is a bit annoying, stroke puzzling, is that I'm not seeing boiling at all in the little bit of liquid that I've got in the little dish there. Again, you can see the boiling occurring here. I'm pretty sure that that's not um, bubbles of air leaking in because we're holding about the same vacuum that we were before and I've pushed the putty in um, all around the edge here so I, I'm pretty sure uh, that it's boiling not uh, just bubbles seeping in, air leaking in um, but as I say still no major action I saw a few good bubbles the first run but now there's no uh, boiling action uh, within that uh, inner dish there so it remains a little bit of a puzzle as to quite what's happening, uh, but I'll keep you posted as I discover new things. This is uh, Marcel in Guernsey doing experiments for DIY home freezing, uh, dry, freeze drying rather. Don't know what I'm talking about.